Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm going to just show you a quick update on the Innovate uh, Motorsports uh, LM2 device the air fuel ratio uh, scanner and uh, just quickly go over the setup I have the, the clamp here I have the uh, O2 sensor uh, threaded into the clamp and the clamp on the muffler and it's connected I don't have everything secured as if I'm going on a ride I'm just, just doing this quick mock up to show you um, and over here is the connector for the induction clamp which I have routed to the number one ignition coil just right there and over where is it over here this is the power and it goes into I don't know why I did it like this but it's like a cigarette style lighter um, that's wired into the battery I would much rather just have a regular lead go into the battery and just leave it there permanently so when I plug it in it's gonna turn on and you're gonna see a couple of things you're gonna see a little W um, because the sensor needs to warm up and I'll probably go through the prompt and make sure that the RPM is configured before I start powering on the bike so let me go plug this in And I gotta make sure that there's uh, no glare. I did a couple of videos and I had to throw them out because the glare. So you see the W, it's just warming up. I've already calibrated the sensor uh, the other day. So uh, not gonna be worried about that so much. In the meantime, I'm going to kind of go through the modes here. And let me just make sure that the RPM retained my settings. From the other session inductive clamp and edge and one pulse per rev and that's good so right now it says 19 to 1 I'm gonna start the bike up for whatever reason one of two things is the case I'm either running really lean on the idle or um, I'm not getting a good reading because of the depth of the, uh, the O2 sensor, but whatever the case is, um, I'm not really focused on idle. It revs stable at about 1100 RPM once it's going and it's okay. If it's a little lean, I don't mind. I don't mind not burning all that fuel at idle. Um, I'm really mainly concerned with the needle circuit. So I'm going to start the bike. It might be a little, it's a cold engine, might be a little hard to start, but um, let me go ahead and do that now see if she'll protest or she'll fire right up. get up to temperature. And so when I'm ready to record, I'm gonna hit this record button and it's gonna record the session.
let me let the bike warm up real quick and I'm gonna start the camera again when I'm ready to begin recording. Fellas, so the bike uh, idle has stabilized to about 1100 RPM. And so, ideally when you do this test, you want the bike to be under load. I can't really put a real load on it since I'm not riding it, but I am gonna put it in first and second gear and I'm gonna do the small throttle openings just to see where the air fuel ratio is at and I'm gonna record the session, all right? So, first thing I'm gonna do is hit the record button. And the second thing I'm gonna do is put it in first gear.
All right, I'm just going to hit record, stop it from recording. And with this, you never, ever, ever, ever want to disconnect the connector. See it down there? You never want to disconnect the connector to the oxygen sensor before disconnecting the power because you will short it and you will ruin it. So you just want to disconnect that there. And I'm going to give everything a chance to cool down. And then I'm going to take you inside to the computer and we're just going to look at the log file that we made. So before we do that though, just to give you my initial impressions, um, it's very lean at idle. And I don't know if, you know what, I will most likely get a more accurate reading if I weld this O2 sensor in the mid pipe, weld the bung, and then just connect it that way. I'll probably get a point or two more accurate. Um, but like I said, I don't mind a, a lean idle. Um, it's a little bit rich. As you start to get into the power, I know that's the accelerator pump, and then it stabilizes around 12.6, 12.7 to 13.2 uh, at cruising, which is about five, anywhere from five to seven thousand. Um, I noticed it did that as well, 12.6 to 13. Uh, full throttle operation, obviously, I can't test it here. Um, it'll probably vibrate off the stand and it'll be a catastrophe. Uh, but when I go for a street ride, I'll open up first and second gear while uh, full throttle and get those runs. Or I can just take a trip to the dyno. Now, one thing I would like to say is ideally when you do static testing, whether you're on the dyno, or you know if you're doing i mean this isn't really the smartest way to do this ideally you want to go for a ride i'm just demoing the product but when you do this you want the air fuel ratio a couple of degrees richer because when you're moving you're always going to get more air sucked into the engine so if you're at 12.4 12.6 you'll probably be 12.8 12.9 on the road and that's okay the other thing too, I don't mind tuning a little bit rich because if I do a mix of oxygenated race fuel and pump, then that's going to push my air fuel ratio up past 13 anyway. 13.2, I know for ZX7s make the best power. This is not like the H2 where you want to be 12.0 12, 12 <laughs> uh, or 12 to 1 or you know, I use for the H2 I like to be 12.4, 12.6 with the intercooler this bike is a little bit different it's older it's carved i can run 13.2 and cruising i can run as much as 13.7 with no <clears throat> with no ill effects and if anything it'll make it better on gas um, so that's my tuning strategy with the zx7 so i'm going to uh, put everything away and then i'm going to head inside um, and then we'll look at we'll look at the the graph on on the laptop so you can see basically what we did today so stay tuned and I'll be right back with you bad news that run we just did I didn't actually get the data I thought I hit record but for whatever reason it didn't record it so I'm just gonna open a save log file just to show you what it looks like so basically you're gonna point it to the SD card and here's an old file now if you put your hang on a minute I blew it so if you put your cursor over it in that upper corner there you can see you know your air fuel ratio for a particular RPM, um, but these these graphs don't seem to have any smoothing. So what I like to do is I just like to just play it, and then you'll get the gauges. And then when the gauges come up, they'll start playing. So this is an old file. It was already on the SD card when I bought it. Uh, I bought it used, so this is a file that someone else likely had, but it's going to show, you know, the, the driving RPM and the air fuel ratio for the given RPM. And when you do the, with the when you do these sessions and you record, you want to make sure you're holding the throttle steady at various points. Um, when I did the run just now, it was two, three, four, five, six thousand, um, and then it worked. And then it, it, you know, it pulled, it, you know, pulled RPM. I was keeping an eye on the gauge, so it looked like. 
12 to 12.5 down low and then in the mid it was like 12.6 to 13.4 and that's okay um, that's okay I mean I'm not really looking for perfection it's very cold out it was 40 degrees so it's likely going to run a little bit richer when it heats up I think everything will settle around 12 to 12.6 um, and then when I pop race fuel in there, it'll probably end up around 13, 13.2, which is pretty much ideal for the ZX-7 based on uh, my past dyno experience. Um, so that, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. You know, you can use this thing to, to play it back. And, um, and I mean, it's... I don't think it's the most accurate thing out there, but I think it'll get you in the ballpark. Um, and it works well for the money. And I think if you don't have access to a dyno and you know you're messing around with carbs and stuff like that and playing with different needles, uh, I mean you can go ride and, and see how it feels on the road, but it'd just be nice to compare your impressions on the ride with, with some actual data. And that's what it does. So uh, personally I don't recommend the clamp and the exhaust like I'm using. Um, I think you should be using the, the you know, weld a bung into your mid-pipe and then have the O2 sensor um, threaded into the mid-pipe. I, I think that's a smart money. I may do that. Um, but ultimately, I think that, you know, I think this is a good value, um, especially when you, you're trying different things. And main jets and stuff, I mean, you get it out there and you open it up full throttle or if you're on a dyno well if you're on a dyno you won't need that but if you're on a highway and you don't have access to a dyno you open it up first second gear wide open throttle and then you just come back and you can read you know read the data on the lm2 and it'll let you know what your air fuel ratio is um so that's pretty much that i mean just a quick demo on how to use this tool and uh i'm going to be taking it with me on a couple of test rides when it gets a little warmer out and I'll, and I'll be sure to show you my actual data. Um, not sure what happened just now. I thought I was recording, but um, I guess not. So um, I'll do a test ride in a couple of weeks, you know, once it's warm. And uh, with the actual data, we'll pull it up. And then I'll also share my, like, my baseline settings for the, the flat slide carbs. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. Until next time.